This is a clutch motor. I've gone through this getting it ready to use and I'll just show you what I did. They are pretty simple. There's a few things on them that maybe you would like to know what they are. But what I'm going to do is just kind of go over briefly what some of the components of a clutch motor are. Typically they're mounted under the machine in this orientation. So this is the control arm. This is an adjustment for the arm you can control how far the arm moves before it begins to engage the clutch. So basically it's a stop. I like to adjust that to where I don't move much at all and it, and it starts the machine. I can just set that to where as soon as I step on it, it begins to engage. Then you lock it in with this nut. Notice how the arm moves when I adjust the stop. After I get the adjustment set, I'll tighten the lock nut. This adjusts the spring tension on the arm that is controlled by the foot pedal. So you can tighten or loosen that spring as you choose. This is the cork clutch. I'm going to go ahead and use this one again, but it can be replaced if it's worn or damaged. This housing contains the pressure plate. Notice how it moves when I operate the control arm. Behind the pressure plate, you can see a bit of cork. That's the brake. That engages when you lift your foot. You can also press down with your heel for even more braking power. Cool. Thank you. So you can get a lot of information off of these tags that are on the clutch motors, such as the voltage. This is 115 or 110. Same, same. Uh, gives you the amps, gives you the RPMs. That's important. So 1725 and the other one is like 32, uh, excuse me, 3450, which is twice of 1725. Those are your two, those are the two you'll see the most. Gives you horsepower. This is a half horsepower, 60, at 60 hertz cycles. Um, then it has some light and capacitor information here. In this end, we can access some of the parts that we may need to maintain one of these. So if a capacitor goes bad, it's right here. This states that the leads are for a six volt, 15 to 20 watt lighting fixture. So this particular machine is an older style that uses the six volt 
bulbs. So if you have a lamp that'll use six volt bulbs, you can wire it in here. Now down here you can see two posts. And on this post, there's a black and a yellow wire. And on this post, there is a white and red wire. This determines which direction the motor will spin. And if you look on the tag, you can change the direction of the motor spin by changing how these are wired together. Right now this motor is wired to spin counterclockwise. Now here it talks about the direction of rotation from the pulley side. And these are your wire colors, black, yellow, red, white. If you want your uh, pulley to spin in this direction, which is clockwise, um, you'll wire it like this. So you'll wire the black and the red together and the white and the yellow on this motor. And then if you want it to spin in this direction, this arrow, which is counterclockwise or anti-clockwise, you'll wire it up on this, like this side. So white and red together and yellow and black together. Now that you've seen how uh, it's put together, I'll just show a close-up of its operation. Alright, so I'll turn it on. So you can hear it running. So you'll remember that that, that cork clutch is spinning on the motor now. And then there's a steel plate that is pressed against it when I push on the foot pedal. Now this is upside down compared to what it would be on the machine, but uh, when you step on the pedal it moves in this direction and it engages the clutch. And you'll see this start to spin. Then when you're done, you need to stop fast, you just push your heel down and there's that brake in there and it'll stop instantly. I'll see if I can feather it in a little bit. There's not much resistance on that. But you can see that you can kind of feather in that clutch. It's just like driving a car with a clutch. Not that many people know what that means anymore. Alright, I'm going to shut it off now. You can hear, it's still running. And even though it's shut off, it has potential energy. So you need to be careful of these when you step on the pedal and they're off, they'll still run a little. They've got a lot of momentum built up. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you're not already, please become a subscriber. Thanks for watching.